In this video, we're going to go over comprehensively how you update ETC EOS for Nomad and for the consoles. Let's get started. All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade to the latest EOS software. Uh, here on their website, it's etcconnect.com slash EOS dash software. And on this page, we're going to just scroll down here and you can see the latest software build. And we've got the updated manual for version 3.2.1, the release notes, and then the Mac and PC software. So what I'm going to start by doing is clicking on the PC software to start it downloading. And then while that's happening, I'm going to click on the release notes because it's always important to read through the release notes before you do an update. So many times we see problems where people update the software without reading the release notes and then they're posting on forums because something appears broken. So here we can see in this release, very top, uh, has released the long-awaited reinstating of Roscoe and GAM library assets, bug fixes for patch and GDTF and some augmented 3D things. Also super import important, uh, firmware for Apex consoles and processors to increase stability, especially with the face panel controls. Uh, fixed a bug where deleting channel parts and patch would cause it to crash and other bug fixes and improvement. We see the software is just finished downloading, but we'll continue down. Uh, big caution, see? Don't things that we need to read here. Um, this software does not support ETC Net 2, EDMX, Draft, Streaming ACN, AV, AB, UDP, uh, and those all stopped in 3.2. Um, so caution, we'll read that and we'll scroll down some more. Again, a notice about the Net 2 protocol no longer being supported. And uh, these are in uh, prior versions. And then here's the detailed list of issues corrected along with some workarounds here. I'll let you read those for yourself, but the big fixes were what was listed up above. Um, and then it says here where to download it. Um, here it goes on to installation instructions. Uh, and it's super simple. First you download the software, which we just did. And then if you're on a console, you're gonna transfer it to USB storage device, or you can run it locally if you've got Nomad on a computer. You are going to insert it and do the software update and then install. We'll walk through that in a moment. In order for multiple EOS devices to be connect, including consoles and processors, all devices must be reading the same software version, having the same fixture library installed and set to the same language or they will not connect. Literally just this week, someone in one of the forums was asking questions about this. So yes, for devices to connect together in a multi-console scenario, including Nomad, they have to be on the same version, both the version of software and the fixture library and be set to the same language. Uh, firmware updates. Occasionally software includes firmware updates and you do that through the ECU settings maintenance firmware. Uh, if you're on an Apex console, this release does include firmware for that. And so we'll walk through that as well. Um, some res resources, release histories about prior versions and what was added. Again, you can see here more firmware for Apex keypads. Uh, see that in the forums. Uh, I love that ETC is being very responsive on taking care of any of these issues and they're updating, uh, pushing out releases fairly regularly to address issues as they're discovered. Okay, going from here, um, we can see here that it has downloaded here and it is in my download folder. So from here, following the directions, I will scroll down just to see if there's anything else here at the end. You can see all the release notes in here, uh, current versions and firmware and BIOSes for the related hardware. So if you're not running Nomad, this is on a Nomad right now, but if you're running actually on a console, uh, that's what you need to know. So what I'm gonna do here from the desktop, I'm gonna launch EOS by double clicking on it. And here we can go into settings within the shell. And we'll bring that center on the screen here. And from here, I'm going to go to software update. OK, so no installers found. So I'll simply go to others. And I'll go to my downloads folder. I'll click on the software update. And then I get this pop up here. Are you sure you want to install the software? And click yes. And then you'll see the installation dialog going. Now, something to be aware of is that uh, on a console, super nice now, you no longer have to unzip it. Again, if you just throw it in a USB drive, you'll be good to go. Here we see it closing, and then here we've got the dialog here, the install dialog, so accept. Best time to do these updates 
is your longest lead time between shows. So I would never do this a day or two before a show or even a rehearsal. I would try to give myself as much lead time as possible. I certainly would try to align my maintenance window with normal business hour support windows for ETC. They do provide 24 by seven support. Better results if you do it when they're fully staffed as opposed to having just one person on call. Okay, setup is complete, so I'll click finish. And here I'll launch into it. And when I go into settings here, you'll see that both my EOS version is updated to 327.18 and the fixture library was updated to 327.11. Uh, I have seen reports of people doing the update and it updates the EOS, but it doesn't update the fixture library. And it seems like that's more common on Macs and the solution is to uninstall completely and then reinstall from fresh as opposed to the update. Um, but we have both of those uh, libraries there. Um, so that looks correct. And from here, I will launch in offline mode. And when I click on about, you can see here we are, 327 build 18. So there we are, that's the way to update properly your ETC running Nomad. Running within a console is very much the same. The only thing we omitted is you would transfer that downloaded file to a USB drive, insert that into the USB port on the console, but you would go through the exact same steps. You'd go through the shell and update from there. And other than that, that's all there is to it. Hope this was helpful and helps you avoid problems when upgrading the ETC EOS lighting software.